Hello, gang. We're back in the kitchen. It's been a while. It's been a minute. I've been all over the place. Went to the Bahamas, went to Costa Rica. I got vaccinated. Now I'm... Fl well, anyway. <laughs> Look! Look what I have. King's Hawaiian Rolls. You remember we did, what the hell was it? What did we call it? We called it game day sliders. That's what it was around the Super Bowl time. And a lot of people use these suckers. These suckers are the best rolls on the planet. You could just sit down and eat them with wine and everything fried. There's your recipe for the day. King's Hawaiian Rolls and Wine. You would, that's my oven telling me that it's ready. You would think that I would prepare a little more and turn the sucker on before I roll, but oh well, I'm just being me. Hey, we're gonna use King's Hawaiian Rolls and we're gonna make buffalo chicken sliders. Did you hear what I said? Buffalo chicken sliders. Good Lord, people. This is gonna be some breaded chicken, like chicken tenders, right? In buffalo sauce on these babies? Heck yeah, here we go. Okay, first of all, there's a dog back there. Hi. Bye. Dog walks around all over the place. So I got my uh, wife's handy dandy uh, Texas Rangers cup she made me. It's always good to show this because then she doesn't get so pissed off about me making a mess in the kitchen. But anyway, here's what we're gonna do. Look, we could start, it's buffalo chicken sliders, right? So we could start with the breaded chicken by like breading the chicken, you know what I'm saying? And like with the panko crumbs and all, or, or, you can go to the dang grocery store and buy some chicken tenders already made. And that is what I suggest. So I have been to our local grocer. And look at here, gang. How beautiful are those? I just knocked off about 20 minutes of your time right there. And they're every bit as good. At least my particular grocery store makes them pretty dang great actually. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut these little bad boys up into bite-sized pieces that will go on our King's Hawaiian Rolls. But before we get going, the second star of the show, Frank's Buffalo Sauce. Now I could sit here and make my own buffalo sauce. Yes, you guys are probably getting mad at me, but why don't you make this one? This is quick and easy. Did I mention that? Quick and easy. So we've got Frank's Buffalo Sauce. This is what we're going to do. We're going to turn on this bad boy over here. I'm going to get some butter tablespoon and a half, two tablespoons, something like that. I've missed doing this. I've missed you. Here we go. Throw that sucker in. Surround that butter with a pile of Frank's buffalo sauce. Almost the whole darn thing. Might want to save a little bit for a little sauce on top later or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. That's right. If you were to sniff this, your nose would kind of explode because Frank's buffalo sauce is pretty strong. So we're going to put some, whoops, there we go, honey in it. Fill it. Oh, my Lord, this honey. I may need some more honey. <laughs> oh, a little bit coming out. Oh, yeah, I made a nice little fart sound. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? That means you're at the end. Generally, you want about a tablespoon or two of this. I think I'm going to squeeze out just about a tablespoon and a half, which is going to be fine. Man down. Let's just get it all going. Put it on about medium. Over here, we're going to take our little chickens and we're going to cut them. What, you know, the Hawaiian rolls, there's 12 of them, right? Three to each roll, so four. So, I got four tenders. I'm going to cut them into thirds. That's how we're going to do it. Boom, boom, and then there's a third there. Probably a little too big, so I'll take that off and eat it. As I should. So I need 12 good pieces. See, one, two, three, four. That's a good one, five. And I'm going to do that one in half. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cut that one in half, too. Eleven, twelve. There you go. 12 good pieces. We're going to grab them with our hands, throw them in the pool, just like that. Voila! Breaded buffalo chicken, gang. Now we're going to let this soak in here for about 10-15 minutes. We're going to make sure they get turned around. By the way, did I mention this is quick and easy? Did I? I think it just did. Look at that. 
Okay. Here we go. Break these suckers open. Did you know that King's Hawaiian? You guys probably knew this. I, I don't, you know. Sometimes I pay attention, sometimes I don't. But they're making like long rolls now too where you can put hot dogs in. Oh, Lord, help us, they're so good. Help us, they're so good. Let me turn this down a little bit over here. What we gotta do, we gotta cut our buns in half. Here we go. Okay, now we're gonna start building. Here we go. First thing we're gonna do, mayonnaise. Now look, why do we use mayonnaise? The reason why we use mayonnaise, here, let me answer the question for you. The reason why we use mayonnaise is to make sandwiches not be so dry, right? We just kind of use it for moisture to make it soft because there's not really flavor to mayonnaise, right? It's just kind of something we use to make it, everything just not be so dry, our sandwiches especially. So why not get mayonnaise that has flavor? Q pie mayonnaise, this is Japanese mayonnaise. It's in pretty much every store nowadays that I'm seeing, at least out here in California. I don't know about the rest of the country, but if you can find this stuff, oh, mayonnaise with flavor, baby, go for it. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna coat the bottom of each one of these suckers with a little squirt of mayonnaise. Because we're putting Q pie mayonnaise on and then watch what we do. This is exciting. I'm taking a spoon and I'm coming over here. I'm gonna get a tablespoon and I'm gonna put it, well hang on, let me come back over here. It's a better camera over here. We're just gonna put it right on top, just like that. How awesome is that? So you're making kind of a, I don't know, what are you making? You're making kind of a crema, I guess. Of mayonnaise and this lovely sauce that we got going on. So you kinda of want it to look like that, all right? Oh, smells so good. All right, uh, I cheated and I, I chopped some lettuce earlier, so not gonna do it in front of you. Finely chopped and we're just gonna spread this all over the place. This is very different than the game day sliders, but just as delicious. And now that you have this, whenever you get up the big game or whatever's happening, or summer rolls around 4th of July, make both, right? Then people can have chicken or beef. Woohoo! Okay. Time for the star of the show, but before we do the star of the show, if you'll recall, we made the best glaze ever on the game day sliders. It was butter, brown sugar, Dijon, and Worcestershire. And then you pour the glaze over the top. We're gonna do the same thing, but not as sweet, and we're gonna give it a little kick with a little more buffalo sauce. Okay, so butter. Yes, more butter. No, you are not going to get skinny eating this recipe. I think we've already established why I am not skinny. While the butter's happening, we're gonna bring our favorite guys over here. And one at a time, we're just gonna start building. Look at that. Look at this. How excited are you? Now see how beautiful that works? The size of it with the buffalo sauce on it. Perfect size for these little suckers. Can you imagine the flavor build that's going on right now? with that mayonnaise and these King's Hawaiian rolls, the buffalo sauce, the honey. I mean, look at that. Wow. Cat just ran by. It's like a freaking zoo at this house. It's a zoo. An elephant may run by at any minute. <laughs> a baboon or I don't know what else is in there. Okay, now let me put some brown sugar in there. About that much. And that's the key to this thing, is you know, buffalo sauce can be so strong and so powerful, and that's what we want, we want that flavor. But when you put a little sweetness into it, like the honey before, and a little bit of sweetness into the glaze that we're gonna put on top of it, it just balances it, and it just, oh. mm -hmm. All right, so brown sugar and butter. Now watch what we're gonna do. Watch what we're gonna do, gang. We're gonna take the sauce over here. I'm gonna get one tablespoon, just one, just a spoonful, right? Dump it right in, just like that. Now look at this sauce. All right, so that's good. We're gonna let that sit for a second while I finish up over here. And what are we gonna finish with? Where'd my cheese go? I lost my cheese, there it is. Pepper Jack cheese. 
Now you can do slices. Uh, somehow someone's son, not mine, my wife's son, used my pepper jack cheese on a barbecue over the weekend. So I have no sliced pepper jack cheese, but I have shredded pepper jack cheese and that's what we're gonna use. And we're just gonna dabble it right over the top. Yes, my wife's son does a lot of things like that. It does look good. Look at that. All right, well, maybe this works better. Okay, time to top them off. Okay, ready for some glaze. Here we go. Just like we did the last time we did this, right? Pour this right over the top of everything. Look at that little orange tint that it has to it. Look at that. Oh my lord, look at this. Okay, just like before, we're going to put it in the oven, 325. At no particular time, I'm looking to just melt the cheese. That's all I'm doing. I'm wanting it all to come together, which since it's shredded, not going to take very long. So here we go. Okie dokie. I'm so excited about this. Here we go. All right, here we go. Yes, sir, Rebob. How beautiful is that? It smells good in here, huh, Brianna? Yeah. Heck yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you, I give you, I just forgot what I called them. Buffalo chicken sliders. Okay, here we go. Let's eat. Oh, which ones do I want? Which ones do I want, Brianna? I'm gonna have these two over here, just because they, they seem to be calling my name. Yes, two. When you have sliders, if you have one, you're just a sissy is what you are. Okay, here we are, gang. Easy as easy can get, look at that. Messy as hell, which is what you want. Oh, here we go. Frickin' home run, out of the park. Combination, oh, I gotta wipe my mouth with something. How about this? Combination of the buffalo sauce and all that sweetness and these stinking rolls and the cheese and all the, just everything. And the thing is, you can decide how hot you wanna make this, right? You can do Frank's just regular red hot sauce or medium hot sauce or whatever you wanna do and put them on these damn King Hawaiian things and you're good to go. Woo. Oh, man. Thank you. Please send me recipes. If some of your favorite recipes, we'll cook them up. It's good to see you again. We'll be cooking for the next three or four weeks. So, see you then. Mm -hmm.